welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new my name is Maggie and this is the first episode of my new series here on YouTube the Galenis legacy and I'm so freaking excited to start this because I have literally went back and forth for like weeks trying to figure out what I wanted to do as like a another series here on my channel so I ultimately decided that I wanted to do like a legacy with a family but it not be like a legacy challenge or anything just like trying to get to 10 generations of a family and one morning I actually made Thelia Galenis and I absolutely love her she has such a deep emotional and heartbreaking backstory and if you're wondering all about it then you can go ahead and click the link down below I will have the machinima linked below so yeah so that I made like a big like um, decision to like start another legacy of a family but I honestly think this one will be so much fun because I literally just want to like play gameplay and not like have any like strict rules or anything and just try to get to 10 generations of a family so we'll see how this goes hopefully I can get to 10 generations but Thelia is actually right here just like starting with absolutely nothing so we'll see how things go but to give you like a little bit of a like short little thing about Thelia basically Thelia left her home which was Tartosa because she literally just found out that her fiance was cheating on her and he didn't even want to get married to her and so he was like skipping out on the wedding and everything and she found him cheating and basically he told her that her parents actually set them up and his parents told him that but she didn't actually know that and she felt betrayed by her parents and everything and she was just in a really really terrible place after that so she just decided to leave Tartosa and start a new life in Evergreen Harbor a very rebellious life so Thelia basically like grew up being like very smart and very into school a very good kind of like person and everything and she just ultimately went down a darker road now because she is very upset and very like unhappy and just like she gave up on college she gave up on love she's just ready to like live her life and go and be a criminal pretty much so that's a little bit about her I am just like really really excited to start this cuz I am so excited to just have like a rebel sim and just get to be crazy honestly so I have some like things I want to accomplish in gen 1 like stuff that I like just decided that I want Thelia to like uh, like have some goals and stuff so I want her to reach like level 10 I believe of mischief and also painting because she does love to paint so that's kind of my plan and I also want her to be in the criminal career after she steals like things a few things so yeah once she successfully steals a few things I want her to be in the criminal career but these are her traits um her traits are kleptomaniac mean genius and vegetarian and she's indifferent to being romantically exclusive she doesn't even care about romance right now because she got her heart broken she doesn't want a child right now, but that will definitely change in the future. So, yeah, that's a little bit about her, and her aspiration is Chief of Mischief. So, and also a little bit about her, like, backstory here. This is her mom, Diana uh, Glennis, and her mom is romantic, family-oriented, and an overachiever, and she actually is it says she's unemployed but she actually works at a br bridal shop she actually owns her own bridal shop and her dad is Ajax Galenis and it says he's unemployed as well but he actually is a librarian and he's a bookworm family oriented and clumsy and this is actually her ex-fiance Adonis McCreese so basically he's in college 
and he's trying to be a doctor, and he's noncommittal and a genius, and he has another trait, but I'm not sure what it is, because she doesn't even know what it is, but yeah, they basically have a really bad, like, situation going on here, basically... They are, like, they have this little thing here. It says it's very awkward, and they're broken up, and she still thinks he's very attractive, but, you know, he's he's a terrible person, so we're not going to be interested in him now. And this is actually the woman that he was um, cheating on her with, and she does not like her at all. She doesn't like Marina Webb at all. They're enemies, but they have amazing compatibility, and she thinks she's extremely attractive. So, I mean, (laughs) that is kind of crazy and a bit complicated that she thinks she's attractive. But, um, so a little thing about Thelia as well is she is bisexual. So she is into men and women. So, yeah, so we're definitely going to, like, explore that as well, like, Whether she wants to be with a man or a woman, you know, that will, you know, we'll just see where that goes. But honestly, I love her so much and I'm so excited to get into it. So I think what we're going to do first, um, I think we're going to actually have her maybe go and try and steal from somebody. Oh, she can't even, like, go anywhere because she doesn't even have any like, um, service, so I might have to, like, cheat really quick, I might have to cheat her money, um, just so I can get her some cell phone service really quick, so I'm gonna give her, like, $500, we'll say that she had, like, a little bit of, like, cell service left from her old, like, cell phone, so we're gonna, like, go ahead and let's just go over here to the mailbox and have her, like, get this like cell service so let's do internet and cell phone so she can just like basically be able to like go places because I do need her to be able to like travel so that we can have her do her thing and like go and steal so I'm gonna have her go and steal from somebody I wonder who we should steal from I'm just gonna have her go on her own So I'm going to have her go and steal somewhere. Not sure where we're going to go steal from. Maybe we could just go steal from... Um, I feel bad if we go steal from the Tinkers. I mean, they seem so nice. And also the Greenbergs as well are really nice. So I feel like we shouldn't go steal from them. Maybe, Maybe we could go steal from the Harris family. I mean, I don't know a lot about them, so maybe we could just go steal from them. Or maybe we should go try and steal from her ex-fiance's house. I mean, her going back to Tartosa right now, I don't really see that happening. Maybe that could be, like, a goal in the future. Like, actually going and going back to, like, Tartosa and stealing from her ex-fiance. I feel like that would be something she would do because... Her ex-fiance, his parents are really rich, and he's rich, so, um, yeah, so I feel like she would totally go and, like, steal his stuff, you know. He broke her heart, so she's gonna steal his favorite thing, which is money. So, yeah, so, let's just go somewhere else right now. Let's just go, maybe, maybe we should go to Oasis and just, like, try to steal from somebody there. Um, we could go steal from the land grabs. Oh my gosh, I don't like Nancy Landgrab. I mean, who does? I like, honestly, I like Jeffrey better than Nancy. So, let's just go here and, like, try and steal from them. I feel like they have a lot of stuff. So, maybe we'll just go here and try and steal some of their stuff. I think that'll be a good thing to do. Honestly, you know, I feel like Thelia just is in this, like, mode where she's like, I don't give a crap kind of attitude like I feel like she's literally so like upset at the world and mad and just like really hurt about everything I just feel like she just doesn't care and she just will go steal wherever she can find some money (laughs) um whoever has the most money she's gonna go steal from them so but also she just is literally like feeling like she needs some money you know, she's out here on her own. 
She doesn't know what she's doing, per se. She's just out here being like a klepto, just going and stealing people's stuff. So, let's just go over here. Maybe, like, we have to knock on the door, but I didn't really want her to knock on the door. They'll know she's here. Why can't we just, like, climb through a window? That would have been so much more not as suspicious. But, girl, she's going over here and knocking on the door, being polite, I guess. I guess she's mean. She wants to be polite sometimes. Okay, come on in. All right. Well, we made it in, so let's go and see if we can find something to steal. Ooh, Nancy's right over here. I do want her to make, like, a few enemies. Maybe Nancy Landgrab could be one of her enemies. And let's see. Let's see. What do we want to try and steal? I mean, we can't steal anything that that's worth that much right now because she's only a level one in mischief right now so um mischief oriented sims tend to be sly devils delighting at tricking pranking and otherwise mocking their fellow sims life's a party and a mischief sim is out to crash it yes she honestly is definitely like that for sure now especially since she got her heart ripped out and her parents betrayed her i just feel like she's in that kind of mode where she's like you know what screw everything um, let's see. Can we, like, we can't even steal this computer. Can we, like, can we steal this? <gasps> she can steal this. Let's go swipe this. Let's go swipe this lamp. Can we swipe anything else? We can swipe this lamp. Can we swipe any, like, uh, any plants or anything? No, we can't. We can just swipe this lamp. Come on, girl. Come up here and swipe this lamp in your wedding dress. <laughs> She's just up here a one a, a runaway bride pretty much. I mean, he her ex fiance was more like a runaway groom to be honest. She was less of a runaway bride. She was in it to in it for the long haul, and he just was a cheater. Um, fun loving community one. Well, that's good, I guess. Ooh, she successfully swiped an object without drawing any attention. The item is found in her inventory. Yes, she can't steal anything else, though. I don't think she can. Oh my gosh, girl. You can take a pregnancy test? Girl, I don't think you're pregnant, but, you know, I mean, I mean, she and Adonis did actually woohoo quite a bit before, like, like a week or two ago, whenever they were, you know, just getting engaged. So... I feel like it could be possible she could be pregnant, but I feel like she's not pregnant. I'm hoping she's not, because honestly, she doesn't need that right now. She really doesn't want a child right now. She's already got enough going on at the moment. Let's see. What else can we steal? I don't think we can steal anything else over here. Is there anything we can steal over here? She can't swipe anything because she recently swiped. Oh, that sucks, but... Jeffrey's over here. He's working out, so that wouldn't have worked out anyway if she would have came over here and stole something. You know what? We're going to just probably just go, I guess, since she already successfully swiped something. We're just going to have her go ahead and go because she already swiped something from their house. So she successfully swiped one thing, so that's one thing off the list. So... I want her to swipe maybe like three or four more things before she actually like gets into the criminal career. So I'm trying to think where should we go next? Can we like go to somebody else's house and like steal somebody like from somebody else's house? And then like would that count? Would that like <laughs> would would it say that we can't swipe anything else if we go to somebody else's house? I wonder. Um, so we could go over here to the roomies and, like, steal some stuff. Um, you know what? We should do it. We should totally do it and see if it works. Because she's, like, all about this. She's all about just going and, like, trying to steal as much as she can because, honestly, she doesn't care. <laughs> she's just really out here just doing all she can to just, like, get some money. All right. Let's go knock on these people's Brand door. New. Let's go knock on oh. their door, girl. I know you're really heartbroken and upset. I understand. I've been there. 
but you'll be fine. You steal some of this stuff, you get some moolah, you will be over it in no time. Okay. Um, Gavin is coming over here to talk to her. He's probably like, what are you doing here? Do I know you? She's like, oh no, you don't know me. I'm just like in the neighborhood. Just thought I'd come say hi, you know. She's just trying to be like nice, you know. I guess she's just gonna like try to play it off and be nice to him. Just so he doesn't like think anything like bad about her. Oh my gosh, she has a bad sentiment with her. What is this bad sentiment? Oh my gosh. Let's see what, what she got. Oh my gosh, she thinks he's unattractive. Wow. And she thinks that he is responsible. This Sam appears to be a very responsible person, capable of taking care of stuff and willing to care for others. And he has the impression that she is weird. Right off the bat, this Sim strikes Gavin as a pretty weird individual. Wow. So he already gets, like, a bad feeling about her. Well, you know what? We're just gonna, like, come in here and, like, maybe take something. Uh, she still can't swipe anything. Oh, that sucks. She still can't swipe nothing? That's just really annoying. Um, well, why don't we come in here and, like, talk to, uh, Zoe Patel. Honestly, she looks kind of nice. We could be friends with her. I mean, we might come over and steal from her house still, but, you know, she needs some friends. I am actually going to be posting a video soon of Thalia's, like, quote-unquote bad news friends. So, I will be posting that here soon. So, she does have some other friends, but I do want her to try to make some other friends as well. Um, not just these ones that she has that I've made for her. Oh my gosh, her and Gavin are not getting along at all. Oh my gosh. She hates Gavin. Well, you know what? I guess Gavin is just going to be her, one of her enemies then. I guess we're just going to yell at him and jeer him. Oh my gosh, what is, where is he going? Is he going to work? Oh my gosh, I guess he's going to work. Well, you know what? We can like, just talk to her a little bit. Talk to Zoe. Um, let's just, like, discuss interest, you know? Maybe we could ask her about, like, what kind of stuff she has. Like, do you have any cool items in your house, you know? I'm just wondering, because I might want to buy some myself. Um, ask about her day, you know? She's just coming over here and, like, just trying to make friends, but also looking for s friends that she could steal from. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Zoe might be on her case. Zoe might actually think that she is weird as well, just like Gavin did. What does Zoe think about her? Let's see. Oh my gosh, she thinks Zoe is basic looking. Well, I mean, with a little CC, she could look even better, though. Um, let's see. Her first impression of Zoe is annoying. Um, so, well, Thalia has barely met this Sam, but already finds them notably annoying. Oh, gosh. And Zoe thinks she's weird as well. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to, like, have the friends that I made for you, girl. Because you're having a really hard time, like, making friends right now. It doesn't look like we're gonna be able to have you have any, like, other friends. You know what? We might just go ahead and have her come over here and take a pregnancy test in their house. If they don't like her, I guess we're just going to steal some of their pregnancy tests. I, I guess that's what we're going to do. So, girl, why don't you come over here and come and take a pregnancy test? Why not? Why don't we just go do that? I don't see why not. I mean, I kind of want to know if she is pregnant because, like, I don't know. She could be. Um... Oh, well, it seems like it's broken. I guess she's not pregnant then. Let me just check then in MC Command. Let me just make sure she's not pregnant. No, she's not pregnant. So there goes that. So I'm so happy she's not actually pregnant because that totally would just, like, be awful because she has zero simoleons right now. She don't want a child either. Like, she would be so upset. She'd probably put the child up for adoption so, yeah, so I don't think um, we're going to be, like, having her get knocked up for a while, at least not on purpose. Um, we could come in here and, like, play on the computer. I mean, she doesn't have a computer of her own. She could just come over here and, ooh, I could get her into programming. 
Let's see. She could come and practice programming. I mean, programming is pretty mischievous. We could, like, go hack into somebody's bank account or something. That would be so fun. And she could get her some simoleons that way. Oh, my gosh. She's over here crying on the computer. She's just, like, really upset at her parents and at Adonis. And Marina as well. Because, like... Marina, you know, was just really terrible, um, terrible doing that, because, like, I think, um, Thelia and Marina were actually pretty good friends. Hey, I heard you became friends with Adonis McCreese, he's pretty cool, uh, that is actually Adonis's twin sister, so that's Adonis's twin sister, Ray. so, basically, um, yeah, Adonis is a twin, but she was just saying, like, oh, I'm glad that you and him were, you know, friends or whatever. But she doesn't realize what just happened. I mean, either that or she's forgotten. Because, like, did she not just see what happened between, like, Thalia and Adonis? Like, literally, they, like, have a broken engagement. So, <laughs> I think his, you know, his sister may just, like, be texting her saying, you know, I'm sorry my brother is, like, being a jerk and stuff. I hope that, you know, we can still be okay and everything, you know. Because I think they were, like, you know, like, her, his sister wanted to be friends with her. And so, she was, like, trying to make sure that Thelia's okay. I think that's probably what she was texting her about. So, uh, honestly, Thelia wants nothing to do with his family now. So, that includes her. So, I mean, it's nice that she was, like, checking on her, but at the same time, you know... She just doesn't want anything to do with any of his family. So she's going to, like, program for a little bit. I wonder if she can, like, do anything. She can't do anything on here, like, mischievous. She can't do anything on here either. She has to get her mischief skill up. So I'm going to just, like, have her get her mischief skill up. I might have to, like, have her, like, read a book or something. Or it might just be mischievous to other people. So that she can get her mischief skill up. We might just do it with... Uh, I mean, her and Zoe are pretty good friends. I mean, they could just, like, become, like, better friends, you know? I guess we could, like, have her and Zoe become better friends and just, like, um, not be mean to her. Because it looks like their bar is pretty high right now. So, even though they have, like, bad sentiments with each other, they could just, like, have that as, like, a first impression and then... You know, it could get better. Oh my gosh. Jay Huntington the third is coming over here. Oh my gosh. What does he want? I mean, he's kind of a hottie. I'm not going to lie. Um, Let's just like say hi to him and see what he says. He may think she's weird as well. Oh my gosh. He has a different sentiment about her. What is this sentiment that he has about her? Um, So, she thinks he's unattractive. And they have good compatibility. First impression is interesting sim. There's just something about Jay that seems to vibe in a way that appeals to, to Athelia. Um, and then he thinks that she's rude. There's being honest and then there's being plainly rude for no purpose other than, well, being rude. This sim appears appeared to Jay to be the kind of indulge in that. Oh my gosh. Well, Jay doesn't like her, so I think we're just going to probably end up having some enemies in this household. So I guess we're just going to, like, you know, tell him, you know, we want to steal some stuff, you know? We're going to come be, like, a little bit rude to him, because honestly, she hates men that are, like, total, like, jerks. And I think that Jay Huntington totally would be that kind of guy. At least he is in my game, so we're going to go over here and, like, be rude to him and, like, mock his outfit and be like, your outfit looks like a total stuck-up snobby man. And he's just, like, yelling at her. And he's, he's like, really upset, and she's just calling his mother a llama and just, like, trashing him. She's going to give him a mean gift. Oh, my gosh. She's just, like, really not happy with him. She's, like, starting a fight with him over here. Oh, my gosh. This is uh -uh. so funny. I just love yeah. this already. This is really, really fun. Just going over here and being completely rude to him. I absolutely love that. I love the way we're starting out this legacy. This is so funny. 
Oh my gosh, come over here and like yell at him or like be mischievous to him. What's he doing? Oh my gosh, he just knocked over the damn trash can. Oh my gosh, come over here and like shove him. I totally want her to get into a fight with him. Come over here and like, um, oh my gosh, girl, get off of this computer and come and like be rude to him. I want to see you fight him. Come over here and, like, fight him. She's going to get into her first fight ever. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be crazy. And it's going to be with Jay Huntington. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's going to throw a drink on him and also just shove him. Oh, my gosh. She's shoving him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she completed a milestone of her aspiration. Oh, my gosh. What did she complete? Oh my gosh, she completed this, like, first part, didn't she? Yay, she completed the mostly harmless, perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions and be disliked by two sims. Okay, she completed that, so that's good. Oh my gosh. We're on our way, girl. We're on our way to being, like, a really terrible person. <laughs> um, so let's just go ahead and, like, play a prank on him. Trick him with a hand buzzer and just be rude to him. Oh my gosh, her first enemy and most likely her first fight as well. Yes! Go ahead and fight him! Go ahead and fight him! Do it, girl. Go on. Oh, come on, girl, win! You got this. Beat him down. Come on. You can take him. Oh my gosh! Her mom is right here! Oh my gosh, Diana Galenis is right here! Oh my gosh! No, her mom can't be here! No, go away, Diana! You can't be here. Oh, man. He beat her. Oh, my gosh. They despise each other. Oh, good. That's good. Well, good riddance. He is, like, an, a really terrible man. So, we don't really care. Oh, my gosh. And plus, she's just, like, getting her mischief skill up. So, we don't really care. Here, just brush him off and just be rude to him. And mock his outfit. Oh my gosh. Beaten up from fighting. Taking a good licking can make a sim feel a bit dazed. Oh my gosh. She's just like, what is going on out here? What is happening? Oh my gosh. And her, like, her stuff is going down. Like, she is getting, like, oh my gosh. She, she literally has this thing that says first fight. Thalia... Got into a fight with Marina Webb. Oh my gosh. Oh, and she ended a romantic relationship. Yes, yeah, she has all this stuff. Made an enemy. And her reputation is going down. She has a bad reputation. Word is starting to spread that you aren't a kind person. New Sims that you introduce yourself to may have already determined that they aren't interested in becoming your friend. That said... There are other Sims out there that you can quickly befriend. Sims who have similar bad reputations or those that are evil or mean may find your company perfectly pleasant. Well, we might just have to find some people like that. Because honestly, I don't think anybody nice is going to want to like hang out with her. So I think we're just going to come over here and have her, have her go to the bathroom. Because we might as well take advantage of these people's like bathroom amenities so let's just do that and I will actually have her go ahead and take a shower oh my gosh an unknown caller is calling hey mind if I crash at your place for a few days oh my gosh who the hell is this like is this some spam caller because honestly spam callers are annoying oh my gosh I think some spam is calling her you know what oh my gosh Jay get out of here oh my gosh dude Seriously, you walking in while she's taking a pee? That's awful. You know what? She's gonna come over here and shove him and be like, you were trying to be like a pervert and come over here and like watch me pee? She is just gonna like be rude to him and declare him an enemy. Let's do it. Let's get our first enemy. We had our first fight with him, so I definitely could see her like, you know, totally like being an enemy with him. And also, I could see her being, like, enemies with really bad guys. Like, guys who are stuck up and rude. Just like her ex-fiance. So, I'm gonna save my game really quick so we don't lose any of this progress. 
this has been such a crazy part so far. Honestly, I have had the best time, honestly. This has been such a crazy part already. And there goes my timer. So I think I'm going to have her go ahead and head back home. So I'm going to have her go back home. We can totally come back over here later and have her like steal from them and stuff. So she ended up being able to steal one thing from the land grabs and she made her first enemy which is Jay Huntington. So she did pretty darn well today and she tried to like work on her programming skill as well. So she's done really well for the first part. So I'm just really really excited to see where her life goes. Honestly, she is on the track to be such a, like, terrible person, and honestly, I'm kind of here for it. All my Sims usually have, like, a really, really good, like, kind of personality, so, like, having a Sim who's, like, you know, like, totally rebellious and, like, has a really heartbreaking backstory is pretty fun, actually, so, honestly, I've had the best time in this part, and I hope you all enjoyed it as well. And if you did, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I will speak to you all next time. Bye, everyone.